Government forces have seized two new rebel-held districts in besiege Aleppo, forcing thousands of residents to flee to the western side of the city. Our senior correspondent, David Bowden, is with me now. Uh, David, what exactly is happening? What do we know? What we are told by Syrian state television is that government forces have moved into two districts which were, if this is true, held by rebel forces and have been for the past 12 years or so. And what they appear to be trying to do is actually split this eastern chunk of Aleppo, which has been held by the rebels for this many months now, in two. And of course, it's divide and rule. It makes it easier to move in and pick them off. But what is also happening, we're being told by other observers, is that unlike for the past few months where people have just been hunkering down too frightened to leave, too frightened to move, people are now moving, some to the west, which is government held, some to the north, which is held by the Kurds at the moment. And we're told about 4,000 people, presumably civilians, who were living in eastern Aleppo, have now decided it is just untenable to stay there. Things have got so bad that they've had to move. And of course, we've got the UN saying that food is running out. There are a quarter of a million people who are effectively under siege in eastern Aleppo. And they're caught between the ultimate rock and a hard place. They can't move because they don't trust uh, the government when it says we will give you safe passage to come out. But they can't stay, it seems now, because they are simply being bombed out. I think we're entering certainly a newish phase, because if the government forces do end up taking the whole of Aleppo, then they will have pretty much all of Damascus, all of what was the second city is now basically a rubble site, which is Aleppo, and they will have effective control over the great population centres of Syria. And then, you know, what happens thereafter is anybody's guess. But it's pretty clear that with Russian backing, with the Iranians, with Hezbollah, the government at the moment certainly has the upper hand because the West is sitting on its hands. It talks hard, it threatens sanctions, but it's doing very little. And also, clear, uh, pretty much, well, totally unbearable for all the residents there uh, at the moment. David, thank you.